Sports Network presents. Left corner cross, goal by Cody Lofgren. Takes a cross header in. Your Des Moines Menace Soccer. Des Moines Menace Soccer is brought to you by Come and Go, where and means more. By CenturyLink. Doritos. Cook Bar, YMCA of Des Moines. And by Accelerated Rehab, Teal Chiropractic. And Des Moines Orthopedic Surgeons. Des Moines Menace Soccer, live on Central Iowa Sports Network. Good evening and welcome to West Des Moines Valley Stadium as we get ready for another Des Moines Menace soccer doubleheader tonight. We'll start off with the women who come in at 2-4-2 two, and two, looking to finish up the season on a winning record in their final two games here going up against the Fire and Ice tonight. And uh, this is a rematch of a game two weeks ago that they lost to the Fire and Ice but hoping to turn things around tonight and go back up on top and finish the season on a winning note. So it's a doubleheader of soccer action tonight. We'll be back to tell you more about this game after this. Be part of something special. Be part of Iowa's premier men's and women's soccer teams. Be part of the menace. Join us for these upcoming Menace games or find out more at menacesoccer.com. Poor eating habits and lack of exercise have contributed to a doubling of childhood obesity. The YMCA knows that lifestyle habits such as healthy eating and physical activity will help reverse this trend. The Y offers programs for kids of all ages, from preschool through high school. Water babies to swim teams, basketball, summer camps, flag football, child watch, and even lacrosse. If your family is serious about living an active and healthier lifestyle, why wait? Join the Y today and let tomorrow be the start of your healthier family. You know what this means. It means and. But at Come and Go, it means more. So come in and look for the and to find something extra just for you. Come and Go, where and means more. Check out all our extras this summer, like any size drink for just one dollar. Guys, I got the jerseys. Oh, yeah. 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 El Nino. Aquí. Spray Dan. Oh, yeah. Don Ovan. Think that's me? You guy. It's 40 bucks. Can you cover that? I'll send it to you right now. Done. Okay, got it. So Hattrick Rick, he's the best player on our team. You get the ball, you give it to him. Great. Rick. Oh. On your phone, online, on the go, Wells Fargo makes it easy to get banking done. All right, Don, you're on. Nope, just kidding. In 1959, Bill Kraus and Tony Gentle opened the first come and go store. Four generations later, our family is still treating customers like friends and family and delivering more than people expect. That's why AND is our official symbol. So when you see it in and around our stores, it means that we created something extra just for you. Come and go, where AND means more. Check out all our extras this summer, like any size drink for just $1.
Welcome back to Valley Stadium in West Des Moines. Dar Danielson with you here, and Joe Danielson joining me in the broadcast booth as we get ready tonight for the Des Moines Menace women taking on the fire and ice. And uh, tonight's game brought to you by Come and Go. And we'll talk about the starting lineups here in just a minute. But uh, first of all, let's talk about tonight's weather report, Joe. And 85 degrees, cloudy out there, very humid, a light breeze. Uh, this is probably uh, one of the warmest games, well, is the warmest game we'll see so far here at Valley Stadium this season. Yeah, high humidity all day. It's been uh, kind of clearing out. It's kind of more overcast now looking at those big clouds out the window, but it's going to be a hot one. And that's where your conditioning may play a role. And also uh, when you're over there getting a lot of water uh, at halftime and when you get any kind of break, uh, get more water in your system because they're going to be sweating out a lot tonight. Yeah, if they? you want to stay hydrated and stay stretched out, you know, they're going to want to jog, get a nice jog before they enter the game so they don't want to pull any muscles or get injured. Tonight's weather report brought to you by ABC5. The injury report brought to you by Accelerated Rehab, and there's no injury report tonight to uh, speak of, and part of that could be it's been two weeks since they played, so they've had a little time, the uh, menace women here, to heal up. Yep, two weeks of rest, and uh, hopefully we don't add any to that injury report for next week. Yeah, I think maybe cramping sometimes is, is one of your worst things here when you get this hot and humid. If you, you, know, you lose a lot of sweat and you don't uh, get those fluids back in there, that's a danger out here, and especially on this turf, which... Uh, seems to hold the heat a little bit sometimes. Yep, they're going to keep the water bottles moving, I guess, in and out. As, as, as they get subbed in and out, keep the keep drinking the water. The good thing for the Menace is they are back here at home tonight. They played on the road and lost to the ice 4-0 uh, to nothing in their last game. So uh, the, the returning home is good for them to come back home and try to get things together. Been looking for the right combinations. They've had some games where they've scored a lot. They've had some good tight games. I think they've been competitive in most of the games this season, but just – Finding that right combination to break out, I think, is what they're looking for tonight. Yep, they're looking back, looking to get back to uh, winning ways, uh, a revenge game too, I guess. You know, to come back and uh, play well and hopefully get a victory when they couldn't pull one out last time. Our keys to the game tonight brought to you by Schottenkirk Chevrolet, and let's talk a little bit about that. What you see is the keys, Joe. Well, they, you know, as always, they want to start strong early and uh, move the ball, hold the ball on offense and defense, and possess, and then. You know, continue that through the game and uh, endure the attack from the uh, from the fire and ice. Yeah, and I know it's you talked about a revenge game, but I think more looking in the bigger picture, finishing the season strong. Right. Because uh, these girls, have, uh, women have played a good season. Have been as we said, been in all these games. But you want to finish strong. You don't want to finish on a down note. And this is a chance to do that here, especially starting here at home. Right. At the end of the season, you know, you want you're hoping everything's coming together, and uh, you want to finish up with some W's and to move on to next year. And you look at it, they're at uh, what is it, two, four, and two on the season. So in the last two games, they could. Uh, finish up here with a winning record overall. They uh, play here tonight, and then they go on the road at the uh, Minnesota Twin Stars, and we know that's uh, a tough matchup there too. So it'd be good to start it out with a win here against the home crowd. Right, and I'm sure that's probably their goal at this point is you know finish on a winning note and get that record back up to even, and uh, just to play strong. And uh, we've seen that the uh, Fire and Ice, they've had ability to score some goals, too. They put up four on the Menace uh, in, the, in their home field last time around. Well, you know, yep, they have a strong offense uh, sitting in there at 7-1-1 one, and one on top of the division. And uh, it's, it's going to be a tough task for the Menace, and they're, I think they're capable of facing it. Now we see the clouds kind of coming over. If it does start raining, they will play in the rain. I don't know, it's hard to tell. There's looks like there's some clearing out there. If it does rain, you still play in the rain. The only thing that really stops a game in soccer is lightning. Yeah, I don't think – I think the players out there might welcome the rain with the humidity out here. You can cool them off a bit. I mean, and the field won't be too bad with the turf. So unless it gets real bad, I think, you know, a little rain might not be the worst thing. Does that affect your uh, – on this turf, it probably doesn't affect your footing that much, does it? No, the ball, I think the ball is going to move a little faster when you keep it on the ground, and it's going to be harder to get it off the ground on those long crosses. Uh, and it's going to it's going to be a little quicker ball. Will it get heavier though with with the rain as it gets a little wet? Uh, you know, it might it might be a little harder to get it off the ground. It'll it'll stick to the ground is really what they're looking for, and especially with um, all those the black little tire pieces out there, you're going to have those sticking all over. And those, uh, talking about the field, you played down there, and it, it does get warm, as you said. <laughs> I think they're looking for uh, a little more uh, 
ice out of the fire and ice tonight, and uh, the Menace would like to see them play with a little more fire than, than the uh, fire and ice, wouldn't they? Oh, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's the matchup here tonight, uh, just about ready to go down onto the field to get the starting lineups as the uh, Des Moines Menace at 2-4-2 two, and two, uh, playing here tonight against uh, the Fire and Ice. They're 7-1-1, and one and, one. and again, another thing, you know, they're in second place in the division. Here's a chance to play a little bit of a spoiler here and knock off one of the top teams in the division and also show, you know, that you can play with those upper teams. You know, and that's a – it would be a quality win and one that I'm sure they're shooting for when – you know, that's something uh, when you look at next year, building on, you look how you ended this season and uh, you would win against one of the top tier teams. And, you know, that's something every coach wants to go for. Well, I tell you what, let's uh, get ready. We'll go down to the field here and uh, get ready for our starting lineups. And let's do that. And we'll be back after this. We are here at Valley Stadium. Dar Danielson, along with Joe Danielson, color tonight. Arena so far doing our stats for us as always tonight. And let's uh, take a look. Our uh, starting lineups brought to you by Come and Go. And the starting lineups tonight for the fire and the ice at the forward spots. Kayla Delgado, Megan Pulowski, Nicole Hatcher in the uh, forward spots for the fire and ice. In the midfield, it'll be Kristen Crabtree, Taylor Sutton, Kelsey Dingus. The defenders, Gayla Foster, Kelsey Fouch, Maddie Ort, and Mara Kaelmanavon. The uh, defenders, and in goal tonight, it'll be Tristan Studeville for the Fire and Ice. For the Des Moines Menace here, the lineup's brought to you again by Come and Go. Carlin Samuelson will be at one forward spot. Nicole Pearson at another. In the midfield forward spot, Daniel Puttafoot is, uh, will play that midfield forward spot. Katie Hurd in the midfield. Paige Flores and Elise Reed, midfielders. Defenders tonight, Whitney Sharp and Haley Halverson will be on the outside. The middle defenders, Danny Patterson, Chelsea Stokes, and the keeper tonight, Kaylin Stewart for the menace and Arenas and Joe looks like they've gone back in the locker room uh, maybe a little extra water <laughs> yeah to cool down before they uh, come out and start this game because yeah. I, I know it's hard to tell up here because we are we don't get the breeze blowing right over us but uh, there is a little bit of breeze and that's got to help them down on the field doesn't it absolutely it's very humid out today but maybe he's giving them a pet talk here saying hey we gotta we gotta go out there despite the weather despite the heat and go out and get you know, the, the wins there that they so desperately need. So maybe he's getting him one, uh, Coach little, Forster giving him one last final pep talk. Yeah, a little minute quick pep talk. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, it looks like the fans are coming in 
dressed for the occasion, but saw some of them carrying some rain gear with them too, uh, just <laughs> as a precaution. Yeah, just in case. There's some still some dark clouds up there, but uh, we're seeing some openings in the clouds too. So who knows? We may uh, be able to get this game going, and as we get more toward the evening, toward the men's game, it might be cooling off just a little bit. So uh, we've seen some good soccer out of this uh, team this year, and as they try to put it together and you change in the different lineups and coach Borster trying to uh, figure out just which ones work together and uh, they have a chance here to finish up a good strong finish in this season. Yeah absolutely he's sticking with a lot of his uh, a lot of the same people in the squad with you know Nicole Pearson and Elise Reed who are joint top scorers along with Ashley Stokes with two each. Uh, Stokes will be on the bench to start out but he's sticking with them. He has Halverson back there he has Whitney Sharp of course and so definitely, he definitely has faith in them. And I think, you know, if they work hard tonight, they can pull it off. And here they come now. Uh, the team's coming out of the locker room with the officials as uh, we get set to get this game going here tonight. And uh, just not too far away from kickoff. And I wonder if there's kind of an excitement among them after seeing you know uh, the the women's world cup in the USA and what happened in that game and uh, you know if you're a women's soccer player you got to kind of be excited by that and the US uh, winning the world cup and you know and then you kind of maybe saw some things in those games that you try to use in your own game here and uh, do some of that as you get on the field huh, guys some inspired play I think uh, yeah I mean that's a good game to, to look off of you know a good big victory yeah, and the menace would like to start that way. It'd be nice to score, you know, four goals. First yeah, time. absolutely. I think it's something to be proud of, too, for, for both teams, you know, to come out and say, okay, we watched this, and it's great for, for the women's game and how it develops in this country. Um, they've all, the, women, uh, the U.S. women's national team has always been very, very good, so I think they're looking to represent the country and uh, their respective clubs here tonight as well. So you see the teams coming out here and – they're introducing them there down on the field. The menace will be in the red, and the uh, fire and ice will be in the white jerseys as they're introducing them here to get started. And uh, crowd coming in. Looks like going to be a good crowd here tonight for this uh, match too. Absolutely. They're starting to flow in. At first we thought maybe, oh, not too many people. But, yeah, they're starting to. To come on in a little late. Better late than never, though, of course. Yeah, you kind of wonder about that weather because you step outside. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that humidity kind of hits you. And uh, I had a, what, 1.2 inches in the rain gauge mm. this morning. So there was quite a bit of rain in the already saturated ground out there. So that's uh, heating it up and makes the humidity pretty high. Yeah, absolutely. Might put some people off just to go outside and say it's a sauna and then to sit out and watch soccer. Eh, you never know. Some people are braving it, though, here today. Good for them. <laughs> and as we talked about it, the men is coming in at 2-4-2. Two, two. They're coached by Justin Borster. Lindsey Kennedy Eversmeyer is the coach for the Fire and Ice. They're at 7-1-1 one, one in second place in the Midwest. And guys, looking ahead just a little bit to the men's game. Uh, I mean, we had an exciting game last, last time a couple weeks ago. And uh, this one should be, too, as they're still in the battle for first place with three games to go. And they have a chance to uh, not only finish with the playoff spot, but finish again at the top of the league like they did last year. So that, that's going to be a good uh, second game tonight, too, I believe. Yeah, absolutely. They're on a four-match winning streak. They could go to five here. Uh, interesting, uh, reading up on them, they are the second in the entire PDL um, as far as defense goes with conceding only six goals in the entire PDL, like I said, um, only for the Kitsap Pumas to, who have conceded only four uh, up there. So. Mm -hmm. Well, they're introducing now the menace on the field with some young players out there with them. And Danny Patterson. Chelsea Stokes, Haley Halverson, and that's Whitney Sharp. And uh, got a chance to talk with her earlier during the season. We're going to have some of those, uh, some of the women players will be coming up to talk with us too at halftime of the men's game. Halftime of this game, we'll hear from uh, uh, the GM of the Menace once again, um, Matt Hamanoff. He'll come up, and uh, as he told us during our last game, if the uh, men do make the playoffs, good chance they'll be hosting a playoff game here, Joe. So that's kind of.